Welcome back to another episode of What the Small. <laughs> and stop. Okay. Hi. Welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate it. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. Uh, the third book in Sienna Blake's Irish Kiss series, and it is called Fighter's Kiss. Um, I read this book on my trusty Kindle paper white. I'm singing a lot. I'm singing a lot in this video already. Too much. Um, so I read this book on my trusty Kindle paper white. Um, but just so you guys can see the cover, I will put it right here. Look at that. Look at that. Um, so, uh, yeah. This is book three in her Irish Kiss series. The first book is just called Irish Kiss. The second book was called Professor's Kiss, both of which I have already reviewed for you guys a few videos back. You can go look for them and find them. Um, this is called Fighter's Kiss, and it is book three in the series. Uh, this has five. 189 pages. So just like Irish Kiss and Professor's Kiss, this is a big one. Okay? It's a big one. <laughs> 589 pages. That's a lot of pages. Uh, so it is currently free to read with Kindle Unlimited. If you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, Kindle is not sponsoring me. So I feel like you could just do the research yourself. But I'm not going to be a bitch about it, so I'm going to tell you guys anyway. Um, so Kindle Unlimited is a monthly subscription service offered through Amazon for people who own Kindles. And it's kind of like a virtual library. You check out books. You check out books. And uh, up to, I think, like 10 books. And then you read them. And then you just remove them from your device and return them back to Kindle. And you can check out more books. It's like $9.99 a month or a little bit cheaper if you pay by the year or whatever. You get a longer subscription, yada, 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 yada. I've done this in other videos. Okay. Um, so if you want to own this book on your Kindle, you can buy it for $3.99. Unfortunately, right now, the Irish Kiss books are not available on Nook. And I think that that is probably because there may be some sort of exclusive deal with Amazon. Since they're offered through Kindle Unlimited, I didn't know. But anyway, um, you can also get this paperback in like the large paperbacks for $14.99, which I know sounds pretty pricey. But if you saw the size of this paperback, you'd be like, yo, that's a lot of book for $14.99. And it is. It's 589 pages worth of book for $14.99. And it comes in a large paperback, which is similar to the same size as a hardcover book. So you'd normally pay brand new hardcover book that's just been released like $24.99, right? At like Barnes and Nobles or something. $14.99 is not going to break your wallet. If it does, buy the Kindle version or whatever. As far as I know, you can't find these used on eBay. I'm sorry, eBay, you're not getting plugged in this video because... No. Um, I will read you guys the blurb for the book and then we can discuss it a little bit and then I will give you guys my rating and then I'll do my closing spiel and then you'll be free with me for today. Okay. Uh, so the book blurb for this one says Declan the Homewrecker Gallagher, uh, Irish MMA champion, broad shoulders, perfect eight pack and the temper of a bull. Still recovering from a car accident that broke his body, still married to the cheating supermodel bitch who broke his heart. Dot, 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 my new boss. So this is obviously written from the POV of the main female character, but yeah. Um, I can't even begin to list all the reasons why getting close to him is a bad idea, or going to that fancy red carpet thing as his date, or letting him kiss me like he might never let me go. Did I say bad idea? Scratch that. Worst idea ever. Okay, so that is the blurb for um, this particular book. And the two main characters of this book are Declan, obviously, and uh, River, 
who is the main female character. Uh, and Declan is an MMA fighter. He held the belt or championship sash. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, he held it as the top. He was number one dude, right? He's he was number one. Um, so what happened was he was happy. He was number one and he was married to a gorgeous supermodel and, um, his whole life fell apart basically. Right. So, uh, this dude who was like his number one rival homeboy was porking his wife. Uh, he flipped his switch and got into a massive car accident um, because, you know, people do crazy shit when they've just found out that their wife is banging their arch nemesis, right? Um, and so now he has, like, he's massively injured. He has, like, these fight, he, these limitations where he's trying to, like, get back in the gym. He's trying to get back into fighting shape because he needs to defend his title. Uh, so he's on, like, a strict regiment of diet and exercise and physical therapy and weight training and whatever else and uh in comes river who uh is hired as his like his pr person like she's hired to mostly like i think like run his social media accounts and things like that but he's like mean to her in the beginning like you can understand like sworn off women because you know women are like creatures of the night and like they ruined she ruined his life right so um he's when she first shows up he's like super mean to her he's very gruff he's like oh no get get this bitch out of here i don't want her anywhere near it. whatever so he needs the help he needs the good publicity so she stays on and she's like a live-in type whatever in his Irish mansion, right? Um, I keep saying, right, can you not, can you stop? Slow down, you're talking too much and you're talking too fast and that's why you keep going right and right and right. <laughs> right? <sighs> Anywho, so, so he's, very um mentally unbalanced he has anger issues he's a raging bear most of the time and she comes in and she kind of is like a beauty it's like a beauty it's like a beauty and the beast type situation so like she comes in and she's like i'm gonna soothe your wounds and like i'm gonna take care of you and like slowly over time you're not going to be this gruff pos that you know you that you appear to be in the beginning um so you know it the book progresses with him trying to get back into fighting shape even though he's been told by multiple doctors that he shouldn't fight um that you know if he sustains another concussion that he may have permanent brain damage or he may go into a coma and never wake up again, but he just can't like, if he's not Declan, the home wrecker Gallagher, who is he? So he's got like identity crisis issues going on. And like, he's in his head 99% of the time. And the only thing that is chilling him out is this new girl. So it's a very cute, very touching, very, I don't know, very, it's just like very, it's like, it's like an enemies to lovers type situation, but also at the same time, it's like, I don't know, I don't know. It is what it is, but that's what it is. <laughs> what I just said it is. So, <laughs> Why did I start a channel for this? I'm so bad at this. Have y'all noticed? I know you have. <laughs> Shut up. Don't say nothing. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. For the rating for this book, I will give it an eight and a half. I don't remember what I rated Irish Kiss and Professor's Kiss. I feel like it was probably around the same, like eight, eight and a half. Um, my favorite out of the series uh, still is 
uh, Professor's Kiss and maybe that's just because I read them out of order and that was the first book I read or maybe it was because I just got sucked into the story. I don't know what it was. But all three books, awesome, amazing. Um, there are more books coming out in this series. I don't know how intricately they tie into these first three books. Um, but these three books are kind of all happening along the same like parallel to each other in timeline wise. Um, so I don't know. The new books may have that going on or it may be that like these characters just make like little snippets of appearances in those future books and that's why they're part of the considered part of the Irish Kiss series. I don't know. Um, but Sienna Blake did just release uh, a new book in this series called, I believe it's called My Brother's Girl. And um, I haven't gotten a chance to read it yet. I'm super excited to read it. But with everything that's been going on in life, um, I haven't gotten a chance to yet. But I'm going to get on it and I will review it when I do. Um, but for this particular book, I give it eight and a half. I would highly recommend this book. I would highly recommend this series. If you like... Um, Irish based romance novels um, like all of these take place in Ireland like you'll love these books if you like um, the first book has like a little age taboo type situation if that's not a trigger for you the first book was awesome it didn't bother me like everybody was over 18 when they got together so it's not like a thing for me but if that bothers you, maybe steer clear of that book and just read from Professor's Kiss onwards. It's really up to you. It is, it can be taken as a standalone romance novel. There's no like crazy backstory that runs through all the books and that you need to read in order in order to get. It's not like that. You can read each one individually if you want. I have like book OCD and I just can't unless I don't know, which is what tends to happen is that I don't know it's part of a series and I read it out of order. Yeah. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that's like a thing for me. I do that because I'm stupid. You hear that fucking bird outside? Oh, now you want to be quiet. Do you hear it? I just noticed it, but if it's if it's been going on this whole time, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. It's just like background noise to me now. So, whatever. Um, yeah. So, I really appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I really appreciate you guys tolerating me for another review. Um, if you like me or if you like my channel or if you're interested in seeing what reviews will come in the future, please subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. I've been trying to post on a routine of new videos every Monday and Thursday. Um, if I get lazy or have health issues or life gets in the way somehow and I don't, then I don't. <laughs> But if I can do Mondays and Thursdays, two videos a week, I will try to do that. Um, and that's kind of in my system so far. We'll see if it continues or for how long it continues. Okay. Um, if you guys would like to follow me on any of my other social medias, I do have a members only Facebook group you can um, join. I have an Instagram and I have a Twitter all under variations of the name What the Smut. I will link them in the description below as well as put a little banner right here for you guys to see. Um, I would really love to see you guys um, on social media. Let's share memes and you know just be cool with each other and chit chat and whatever on Facebook. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I love comments. I reply to all my comments. I heart all my comments because <laughs> I get like one comment a video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Goosey goosey. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. Okay. Why am I so bright? I don't know. Dunno. Dunno. Uh book three in Sienna Blake's Irish Kiss series, and it is called 
the fuck is it called? Brain fart. Um, hopefully, I feel like I want to say Willow too, but I, I know that's fucked up because that's, I know that's not her name. I know that's not her name. But just in case, let me get out my really quick and see because my brain is just mush these days. There's like a, there's like a pandemic going on outside and I've been trapped in the house with my three-year-old for like God knows how long without any other social interaction. So my brain is literally applesauce at this point. So let me just double check. Where are you, Fido's kids? Don't play me. I know you were here. You were just here. Don't play me. Where are you? Oh my God. I can't. It's not. I can't see. I can't find that. Sienna. Sienna Blake. Blake. Spiders kiss. Okay. Did I not go to the? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? You know what I did? I didn't go to the store. I'm looking in my own library. But I forgot that I returned the book and then. Oh God, Candace, you gotta stop. You've got to stop. Go to the store. Go to the store. For God's sake. Sienna. Blake. Jesus. Fighter's kiss. Thank you. Oh my God. Literally can't. Can I just? It's gonna tell me that it has to that I have to return a book in order to get to check it out again because you know, fuck y'all, you suck. Anyway, okay, I can't, I can't do this. Anyway, matter, I don't care. I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna. Can you shut up, bird? Literally, I can't. Like, I hear it now, and it's, like, constant. Was this happening through the whole video, and I just didn't notice? Who are you even calling for? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Anyway. Fucking bird. My hair is exactly the same as it was in my other video, except for this is tucked now as opposed to it being loose before because I recorded them both at the same time because I'm a lazy fuck. Because I'm a lazy shit. And that's what I do. That's what I do. I had another remote moment. So if you watch any of my previous videos, you know this remote for my thing is like the battery's dying and it glitches out sometimes. And in a previous video, um, it got, the button got stuck while I was trying to take thumbnail pictures and it took 900 photos of me just doing like this, right? So it happened again. I gotta get a new battery for this fucking remote because it's driving me nuts. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> It was a little bit frightening. No, 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 no. Okay. Enough. That's enough of that. What video should I review next? What do you what what video should I review next? What book should I review next? What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Tell me. Suggest an author. I do have Lindsay Sands on the roster. I have, um, what's that lady's name? Karen Marie Monning on the roster. I have Larissa Ioni on the roster. All of these books I have, I own them. I just haven't had time to read them. I'm sorry. There's only one of me and there's only 24 hours in the day. And like, 
and eight of those hours I'm asleep. So that's a lie. Like five of those hours I'm asleep. The other three I'm laying in bed staring at the ceiling or on my phone because I can't sleep. <laughs> 22 minutes. 22 minutes of what? Of what? No review. This is, that's not 22 minutes of review? No. Like 11 minutes of review. The other 11 minutes, just me. Spouting off verbal diarrhea.